All right, 6-2. Multiply and divide radical expressions. Okay? How can you multiply and divide radical expressions? Very similar to what we've been doing. Again, when you get cubes and fourth roots and all that, be aware of it. When you multiply, got to have the same root. Okay? You can't multiply a cube root and a square root. They got to be the same. Okay? Um, so if you got uh, the square root of 5 times the square root of 7 is the square root of 35. If you can simplify that, simplify it. Got two cube roots, I get the square root of, or the cube root of negative 8, which is negative 2, we're good. Cube root of 6 times the square root of 2, can't multiply it, that is it, that's all you can do. Simplify where you can. That cube root, think cubes now, remember perfect cubes, okay? Let's make a list of them. One's a perfect cube, uh, Eight's a perfect cube, 2 times 2 times 2. 27's a perfect cube, 3 times 3 times 3. 64, uh... That's 4 times 4 times 4. 5 times 5 times 5, 125. 6 times 6 times 6, 216. 7 times 7 times 7, I believe that's 343. And so on, you know, 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. Okay, so those are good ones to know. Uh, so I'm thinking like that. So what's the biggest perfect cube here that goes into 54? Oh, 27 times 2. 3 doesn't go into 5 evenly on x to the 5th. So I'm going to split that up as x cubed and x squared. Okay, uh, because 3 goes into 3, and I just have the 2 left over, so I, I split, split it up that way. Okay, and so I can take the cube root of 27, it's 3. I can take the cube root of x cubed, it's x. And the 2 and the x squared stays inside. Okay, cube root of 128, x to the 7th. Well, 64 goes into 128 times 2. 3 goes into 7 twice with 1 extra, so I'm going to go x to the 6th power and x to the 1st power, that's my x to the 7th, but 2 goes into that one evenly. So I'm going to get 4, 3 goes into 6 twice, so I get x squared, and the 2x stays inside. Okay, simplifying the radicals. You just got to put a different hat on when we're talking about cubes or fourth roots or something like that. Multiply here. Multiply both of these together, 12 times 15 is 180 x to the 4th times x squared. Remember, you add x bonus when you multiply. You get x to the 6th. y squared, y cubed, 2 plus 3 is 5. And then square roots now. So I'm back to thinking square roots. 36 times 5 goes into 180. 2 goes into 6 evenly, so I'll leave that alone. 2 goes into 5 twice there, so I'm going to make that y to the 4th and y. So I take the square root of the 36th. 6 divided by 2 is x cubed. 2 goes into 4 twice, so I get y squared, and then the 5y stays inside. Okay? Show a little work, it'll make it easier for you. That's multiplication. Division. Simplify. Remember, if you get something written like this, radical over radical, you can put them both inside like that. Okay, square roots here. First thing I'm going to try to do is simplify if I can. 2 goes into 18 twi uh, 9 times, and x is an x, so 5 minus. 3, remember when you uh, divide, you take the top minus the bottom and the exponents on like terms. So I get x squared. They're both perfect squares, 3x. Simplify here. Now the thing here, I have to rationalize the denominator because I can't simplify and I don't want to be left with uh, anything in the radical. I don't want a radical in the denominator. So how do I get rid of it? Well, I'm thinking cubes here. So somehow I got to get 12y squared z into a perfect cube. So 12 times what gives me a perfect cube? Gives me one of those numbers, the 4, 8, the 27, the 64, and whatnot. Well, 12 goes into 216 evenly, 18 times. Okay, so I'm going to take 12 times 18. I've got a y squared. I need one more because remember we add exponents when we multiply. I got z to the first. I need a z to the squared to get me to a z to the cube. So I got a perfect cube. So whatever you multiply the top by, you multiply the bottom by. Remember, that's just 1 right there, okay, so I'm not changing any values, I'm just going to make it look different. Now let's just multiply. 5 times 18 is 90, x squared, y, z squared, okay, I can't combine those at all. 12 times 18 is 216, y squared and y is y to the cube, uh, z times z squared is z cubed. Now these are all perfect cubes. The cube root of 216 is 6. The cube 3 goes into 3 once, so I get y. 3 goes into 3 once, so I get a z. Nothing I can do up top as far as cubes, so that's my final answer. Okay, that's simplified. I've taken the radical out of the denominator by rationalizing it.
Okay. Same thing here. I can't simplify. I do notice I'm in cubes here. Don't don't lose sight of that. Uh, five times twenty-five gives me one twenty-five. That's a perfect cube. I've got a y squared, so I've got to multiply by another y, so I get y cubed. There it is right there. I can simplify that to 5y. Multiply across the top, xy. Can't do anything there. There's not a perfect cube that goes into 175 evenly. So I leave it. That's it. Okay? So multiply, multiply across. Got to be in the uh, same root. And then uh, simplify. Look for perfect squares or perfect cubes. Make sure you pay attention to what, what your root is. Uh, when you get to division, if it simplifies right out first, do that. If, if you get something left in the denominator in the radical, then you've got to rationalize it. Okay? So we're going to look at more of that tomorrow and uh, get on that. So we'll see you then. Bye.